Chapter 5 Becoming a More Enthusiastic Person Enthusiasm is the secret and ingredient of success for the most successful people as well as the generator of happiness in the lives of those who possess it. The word enthusiasm comes from the Greek and literally means to be possessed by God. It means an absorbing or controlling possession of the mind by an interest or pursuit. You must believe that the energy of the infinite power animates you and the creative ideas that unfold within you reveal everything you need to know. You must have faith in the response of the infinite power to help you attain your goal. This generates enthusiasm which is awakened by your positive faith. Gradually, a new world of achievement opens up for you. People with pleasing personalities are enthusiastic about their lives, their work, their relationships, and their goals. Enthusiasm comes from deep within ourselves. Enthusiasm cannot be faked. Feigned enthusiasm through artificial gestures phony smiles and exaggerated comments is easily detected. If you believe that what you are doing is worthwhile, meaningful, exciting and achievable, it will show up in your demeanor and your actions. Be enthusiastic about your work. Why is it that one employee can often accomplished three or four times as much as another employee the difference is not always that of ability it is often a difference in the character of the effort successful people try harder they add enthusiasm and a splendid just to their work that increases the quality as well as the quantity of the result i have often heard employees say in the morning that they fairly dreaded the day's work, that the hours dragged and that they were glad when the ordeal was over. They felt no enthusiasm for their employment. Should anyone hope to succeed in life who considers a day's work or an ordeal, who goes to it as a slave less to his task? It is the employees who take hold of their work as though they love it, who, took, who take pride in it, who are made of the winning material. There is nothing that troubles an employer more than to see employees doing things in an ambitionless, indifferent manner, as though they regard their work as a necessary evil to be done to keep them from starving. Employees who go to their tasks with energy, determination and enthusiasm give confidence to the employer that the thing they undertake will not only be done but be well done. When employees drag themselves about as though existence were a burden, when they take hold of the work with repugnance or dread, the employer knows that they will never amount to anything. Enthusiasm is contagious. The world has always made way for enthusiasm. It multiplies your power, raises whatever ability you have to its highest, highest level. Enthusiasm attracts business. It is so contagious that before we know it, we are infected with it. Even if we try to brace ourselves against it, if your heart is in your work, your enthusiasm will often cause a would-be customer to forget that you are trying to make a sale. There are people who do splendid work when their enthusiasm is up. When they are enthusiastic, they are productive, prolific in ideas, original, creative, strong and effective. But let their enthusiasm cool a bit and they are all down at the heel. 
all their standards drop and they are good for nothing during the app time. They just have to wait for flood time. You meet them one day and you would think that they were going to do marvels and perhaps the very next day they are low spirited and pessimistic. Their work drags and they are shown of their power until they get a fresh supply of energy. Krista Hawken is a woman who never loses her enthusiasm. She fires up hundreds of potential customers every week and is famous for it. She is not a manager, a sales executive or a leader in the usual sense. She gives tours of a Hyundai Motors manufacturing facility in Montgomery, Alabama. One of the most technically advanced facilities in the world, turning out a thousand cars a day. Krista is well known for turning tourists into customers with her passion and enthusiasm. She takes a personal interest in the men and women on her tour, encourages them to ask questions and answers them fully, enthusiastically and in non-technical terms. Expert knows that everyone who works for a brand represents it to the outside world and every interaction is an opportunity to put an energized, enthusiastic face to the brand. Krista means it, which is why she is effective. She says she sees what the plant has done for the community and the state of Alabama which makes it easy for her to be happy. She never uses the term employees. To her, everyone is a team member and the quality of the vehicle is directly related to the energy of the people making them. She does not start a tour with the purpose of selling cars. Her goal is to entertain and inform visitors and it had paid off and increased sales. Maintain your enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is fragile. It can easily be lost. It is a great art to learn how to keep up your enthusiasm and discouragement. But it is one you can easily acquire. It is simply a question of controlling thoughts. We can keep the negative thoughts out of our minds. There is nothing that will dampen the enthusiasm and Take the edge of an endeavor more quickly than to flood the mind with destructive, discordant thoughts. We can control the mood and the best way to keep out the darkness is to flood the mind with sunlight. One way to generate enthusiasm is to assume the part you wish to play and then play it with enthusiasm. If you are ambitious to do big things, you must always be enthusiastic about yourself. Tom J knew it would be a tough job to persuade his manager to upgrade their computer system. To overcome his boss's concern about the added cost, he prepared an exciting presentation on how the proposed system would speed up the work and minimize errors. He knew his boss was usually reluctant to accept ideas and his first thought was why bother he won't do anything anyway but tom was so enthusiastic about the project he overcame his reluctance and made an exciting and spirited presentation and won the boss's support for the new system there is something in the atmosphere of enthusiastic people who believe they are going to win something in their, their very appearance that wins half the battle before a blow is struck. Set your mind towards the thing you want to accomplish so resolutely, so definitely and with such enthusiastic determination and put so much grit into your resolution that nothing on earth can turn you from your purpose until you attain it. Lucy A was seeking her first job as an administrative assistant 
in the medical field. She had an associate degree in medical administration from a community college but was turned down several times because of lack of work experience. She, so she gave herself a pep talk. I want this job. I have the technical know-how. I am a diligent and conscious worker. I can be a real asset to the doctor. When she went for her next interview, she was determined to get the job. She repeated her pep talk over and over again on the way to doctor's office. She entered the office confidently and answered the doctor's question with such enthusiasm that he offered her a job. A month later, he told her that when he saw from her application that she had no experience, he had decided to just give her a courtesy interview and reject her. But her enthusiasm convinced him to try her in the job. She carried that enthusiasm into the work itself and became a valuable member of his administrative staff. Are you a lifter? or a leaner. There are two kinds of people, just two kinds of people, no more. Not the good and the bad, for it is well understood the good and half bad and the bad and half good. Not the happy and the sad, not the rich and the poor, not the humble and the proud. No. The two kinds of people on earth are the people who lift and the people who lean. Wherever you go, you will find the world's masses are ever dividing into just these two classes. And strangely enough, you will find two. It seems that there is only one lifter for 20 who lean. Are you a lifter? Are you a leaner or winner? Do you lean on others? You are here to grow, to transcend. You are here to meet problems, difficulties and challenges and to overcome them. You are not here to run away from them. The joy is in overcoming. If the crossword puzzle was filled out for you, it would be very insipid. The joy is in solving the puzzle. The engineer rejoices in overcoming all obstacles, failures and difficulties in building a bridge. You are here to sharpen your mental and spiritual tools while you grow in wisdom, strength and understanding. You are here to build enthusiasm in your life and the lives of those with whom you relate. 